A Quincy Animal Rescue that many animals and neighbors depend on may be forced to shut down. I'm Ashley Engel, your Quincy neighborhood reporter. Champs Chance Animal Rescue's owner Alicia Bopp was given this code enforcement violation letter from the county for running her animal rescue. I'm taking a look at why she received this letter and what violation the county claims she made. Sorry. Um, I'm terrified. The feeling of fear after putting in hours of hard work and time for something Alicia Bopp cares about. I have, you know, 40 plus pups that are my kids. Bopp tells me she received this letter shown on your screen in July. Within that letter, it states that Bopp was running a business on rural residential property which is in violation of the county's local ordinance. They classified us as um, in the land use guidelines as a veterinarian's office. Bob tells me the rescue is not a vet office. It's simply a nonprofit. I took this question to Gatson County's Leslie Steele. Is a nonprofit considered a business? She is under the impression that because she's a nonprofit that she's not a business but a nonprofit is considered a business. I checked the county's land development code and it says conducting a business on one's property is prohibited in the rural residential zone. Bob says she's been running the rescue for almost three years now. And she says neighbors have been complaining about the rescue being there. But in her eyes, she doesn't believe she's doing anything wrong. It comes down to either saving lives or based in what we have on four walls. With this code violation, county leaders say BOP is doing something good for the community and they don't want that to change. We don't want her to shut down. We want her to continue to be a service to those these animals in her rescue. We want her to find a location to properly provide the services that she's providing, but not in a residential area. BOP tells me she's been looking to relocate the rescue for some time now but finances are what is holding her back. We can't do it alone. You know, we, we need the help. There will be a hearing on this matter August 8th at 11 a.m. at the address on your screen where Alicia will be able to share her case. This hearing is open to the public. In the Quincy neighborhood, I'm Ashley Engel, ABC 27.